hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we will study about the substitution variables in oracle sql so before starting let me tell you what a substitution variable is a substitution variable are the temporary variables using which user give the input conditions for the select statements uh, to specify the substitution variables we use ampersand symbol that can be single or the double there's a difference between the single and the double ampersand which i will explain you later in this video before starting our hands on let us understand where all we can use the substitution variables we can use them in the where conditions we can use them in the order by clauses we can use them in the column expressions we can use them in the table names and we can use them as a substitute for the entire select statements so uh, let's try out all the variations of it so first is i'll try it in the where conditions so let me select first name last name comma manager id comma department id from employees table where we can use where condition on the manager id so let me copy it where manager id equal to ampersand u input so or department id equal to and u input okay so here a uh, substitution variable is u input and that is rep uh, preceded with the ampersand symbol so let us try and execute this and see what happens so it asks us to enter the value for the u input so it asks us to enter the value for the first um, uh, input so let us give 100 and again it asks us for the value for the second input that is 100 and now let us execute this so we get our data now uh, when we have same substitution variables to be used at different places so instead of giving the input twice as we were popped uh, with the window asking for the value of the u input twice we can reduce it to single for that we use the ampersand symbol um, i mean the double ampersand symbol so let us put it like this and now let us try executing our statement so it asks us so now let us give the value again as 100 and now it asks us only one time and it gave us the entire data so this is how we can use them in the where condition now let us uh, use the substitution variable in the order by clause okay so let me give order sorry order by and let me give ampersand o r d r okay so now let us try executing this and as it already had the value of u input in the session so it directly asking the value for the order so let us give as first name d e s c now let us execute so we get uh, all the uh, data set where the manager id is 100 either 100, either manager id or either the department id is 100 and we can see that our first name has been arranged uh, so, so so our data um, basically our data set is arranged uh, by the first name uh, wherein we are following the descending order for the first name so we have seen how we use the substitution variables in order by clause now uh, i have told we can use it use them in the table names also so let us try that 
out and let us give table underscore name and again execute the statement so it us so it asks us for the value of the table name let us give employees and run and it is asking us to give the value of the order so now let us give now last name ASC so we got our data uh, for from the employees table and the output is arranged in ascending order with the last name so now we have seen it uh, how we can use them in select uh, sorry in the, uh, use them in these table names now next is the select statement let me uh, now give here SEL and now try executing it so let me put the value okay it asked me for the table name and the order now let us uh, do the order by manager ID so now we see we see we, we see uh, we see how we can do it uh, use the substitution variables in the select statements now come to uh, the statement select mm, as a uh, substring so now we will see how we can use them in the column expression now let me give l e n from dual okay so now let's let us try doing the substring function here and let me give it as 3 so see we got the data from the third position so this is how we can use these substitution variables and hope you would have liked this video if you found this video useful please share it with your friends like the channel and subscribe the channel thank you